So we heard about the fire. Just wanted to check everything's okay. Bit of a mess. Tell me about it. Well, your insurance will cover it, though. Not my fault. Smoking. Well, so long as you're both still breathing. It's not right. We lose all this and them scumbags get away with it. We can't get it done because of what I did to Jimmy. No, it's not. And no one's going to get away with it. Three hours sleep won't see you very far. Get this down here. His bed's not been slept in. I don't know what's going on. You've tried ringing? Oh, half a dozen times. Switched his phone off. It's not looking good for him, is it? Why would he do something like that? He's hardly whiter than white. Yeah, he was only out the other night with Andy having a pint. It's ridiculous. You know, I know what this is. It's the Kings trying to cause trouble, shift the blame. We're cornered like rats, all of them. Why don't you get Andy down here? See if he can't shed some light. Guilty conscience. Stay out of my way. As long as you stay out of mine. And make sure you do a good job of getting rid of the evidence. Do I look stupid? Don't tempt me. Look, it was you that went flying in with your fist last night, not me. Yeah, and I'll do it again if you're not careful. Thought you two would be on the same side. And what's it to you? We both know the answer to that one. You get rid of the van. So the King's not dead then? Lucky for you. Don't know what you're talking about. Good, neither do I. Let's keep it like that, shall we? Everyone stays calm and keeps dumb. We all stay in the clear, OK? Regular genius, aren't you, eh? Anyone would think you'd done this sort of thing before? More than you'll ever know. You didn't say out to my dad last night, did you? Now, why would we have wanted to do that? Still no Mr. James, I see. Uh, there'll be no Jimmy for a few days, I'm afraid, Edna. He's feeling a little under the weather. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Nothing we can't handle. Oh, well, I'm very pleased to hear it. A little under the weather? What the hell's he supposed to say? He's barely breathing after having a pitchfork through him last night. Just a bit of an understatement is all I'm Just saying. keep your voices down. That's not to say I want you whispering in corners. No suspicious behaviour. Business as usual, is that clear? What if Jack goes to the police? Where's that going to leave us? Fortunately for us, that is not an option that's open to him. Not unless he wants to see his own son get sent down. And you can wipe that grin off your face. You lot have nothing to write home about, are you? Robert! Am I right? You tell me. Your bed's not been slept in. Yeah, sorry about that. I uh, had to rush that van back to a punter last night. We got talking, had a few drinks. By the time I got out, it was late, so you know, I didn't want to wait you. Just skipped here. Any news on the Andy situation? I want you back home now. Why, what is it? Just do it. Well, I've got... I'm not in the mood for arguing, Robert. Come in. How are you feeling? Battered. Can we get a move on? I've got a lot to do today. The only thing we all have. Only some of us can't exactly get back to work, can we? So, what are we going to do? Right. Well, I've given this a lot of thought. And it seems that our friends and neighbours, the Kings, are already trying to shift some of the blame. I'm going to get done, I knew it. Only those people responsible for setting fire to the barn will be held accountable. Okay? Sounds good to me. Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the police and we're going to tell them that Jimmy King, Kane Dingle, and an unknown third person 
Set fire to the barn and attacked Andy. Okay. What about Jimmy's injuries? I mean, surely Daz is... Daz to... was just protecting his brother. There's nothing wrong with that. Look, I mean, Andy has to change his story. It's going to look very suspicious. Well, it won't take him long to piece together what really happened. So we all set? I am. If... if Robert is. Robert? Let's go. You're unbelievable. Yeah, whatever. What's going on? Ask him. Robert? It was you, wasn't it? I know it was you. 